the most powerful church in whole Europe. The Kingdom Church presents Bishop Climate Ministries A place where the captives are set free and where the members are wealthy, healthy and wise. Your breakthrough is now. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Join the vision and be free. The time has come. Some of you right now, you, you are caged. Your life you, is caged. You, there are financial over the place. You cannot eat because you are already in debt. You cannot do this because you are in debt. Because of this financial situation. I came to let you know. I came to let you know. Out of that zero, just like Jacob, you are going to become a money magnet. Favor magnet. Miracle magnet. side to your life God is going to shift you from depending on men from depending on institution your blessing is going to be by magic your blessing is going to be by Lord as did you hear what I say when listen listen Laban when he realized the witchcraft could not work he used another embargo he says tell me your wages and I'll pay why did you not pay me 20 years ago why are you deciding to pay me now? Today I speak into your life. Every, 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 every controlling institution that has been, has been used to control your life, to keep you, in, when pe some people are kept in maximum prison, but you have been in maximum poverty. In short, you are overdraft. You have gone all the way to the ceiling. I came to let you know. I see a miracle. I see a miracle. Your source is going to be God. God is going to be your source. I said, did you hear what I said? I said, did you hear what I just said? Somebody here, today as you anoint your hands, something is going to open up. It is going to open up every powers of witchcraft that has hold you for years and years they are going to be broken and once they are broken no man's organized institution is going to hold you anymore last year or whatever is the institution happened this guy they, 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 they closed my bank accounts oh, there's quite a lot of money in there I, I went over here in, to see the money one of the managers here and I says you know I know but then she looked at me and she says oh we need this we need this we need this we need this and this and so she turned around and she asked me so how are you gonna survive I looked at her and I says you know one thing for me this is not my source God is my source. It's thousands and thousands. Of I've not even, I've not, every, I'm so busy even to, to, it's there. When I'm ready, I'll go for it. But I've, I've survived for almost now going what? To almost about eight, six, six, seven months. I've survived. Even that one, all what I do every morning, I just receive a text. You know, the, the one that alert you. How much money that you have in the account? Every every morning, it just lands there, and I keep checking. But because you ask me, Bishop, what do you mean? I'm not gonna have high blood pressure because of that. God is my source. Listen, listen. When when they, they shut down, I'll tell you one thing. When when that happened, 
it, it, it went, so they refunded me some money. The other one, they kept, they want to ask whatever it is and, and blah, blah, or where you getting this big money and whatever it is and, and blah, blah, they want to know whatever it is. Fine, it's mine. I've got everything. Everything. Do you know, what, do you know how long it's going to take me to get my money back? It's for me to walk from here. Get on a call, just go to the bank there and give it to them. But I don't have even have that time. I'm being honest. I, I don't even have that time. That's all it's going to take me. By the time I finish, it's already night. The uh, bank is closed, 5 o'clock. You know how many times I've made the arrangement to go to there? By the time I finish, it's 5. Oh, when I realize it's going to, when I check in the computer, the bank is closed. I've not even been there. But I'm planning to go. When I get, it get busy. But you ask me, Bishop, why would you not be moved about it? I'll tell you one thing important. Because deep down in my heart, man is not a so my source. God is my source. And guess what? Guess what? I, I'm going to share with you something. I'm glad that that happened. Because you know what happened? Because you see, luck should never drive you to depression. Luck needs to drive you to creativity. Jacob went to creativity. When Laban said, you want me to pay wages? He says, no, I know. Because if you start paying me wages, you tie me down again. He says, what do you want? He says, listen to me. Let God bless me. Let God, I'm going to, let God do, let me use the word, miracle. Let God do miracle and provide for me. Today, stretch up your hands. I see miracles. Miracles, miracles. I see miracles. I see miracles. I see miracles. <clears throat> I see miracles. I see miracles. Financial miracle. Wealth miracles. Receive it in Jesus. Receive it in the name of 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 Jesus. When you are under demonic embargo, stagnation becomes your way you, you you're always stagnating you always find yourself making decisions that actually makes you stagnate in short you keep watching at this amazing you always make decisions or things will happen they make you stagnate when there's a, a demonic embargo in your life you live what we call an amputated destiny what is an amputated destiny it means with your own you chopped your own you keep chopping yourself you make decisions that chop your own destiny that means it's somebody who is under demonic embargo. When you're under demonic embargo, you're always full of confusion. You get confused so quickly, frustrated, always demotion, living below God's standard, and or, or, living be, be, below God's standards for one's life and wrong positioning. You keep finding yourself, positioning yourself in the wrong way. But today, I prophesy into your life. Every yoke, every powers, every demonic every powers that once that have come against you in order to make you profitless and no uh, through hard work uh, we command it to die back we command to die back every demonic embargo that has been causing confusion demotion in your life wrong positioning wrong position of mind and thinking uh, we command it to die back as a way 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 command it to die back what are the things that puts what are the powers that put embargoes on people's life number one through what we call foundational powers this include ancestral spirit household wickedness powers ancestral powers to ensure the generational transfer of family problems and evil pattern foundational we're talking about foundational powers and i speak to you right now there is somebody here this is what has happened there are ancestral spirit household wickedness powers ancestral powers to ensure generational transfer of family problems and evil pattern number two through witchcraft powers this include various type of witchcraft powers such as marine witchcraft enviance witchcraft household witchcraft eaters of the flesh and the drinkers of the blood it is very important for you to understand each other god is a very important it's very important to understand it's very important you have to be very careful where you eat even where it's very important you have to be very careful where you eat be careful be careful where you eat be careful where you worship these days 
You have to be very careful. Some of you right now, you go to different churches. You jump from one place to another place. Come here, come here. Koku, come here. Some of you don't understand. You come over there, lift up your hands right now. You get somebody to pray for you. Just give an example. Somebody to pray for you. But when they look at you, they're already jealous about you. What kind of prayer are they going to pray for you? You have to be very careful. Some of you, you move from one church to another church all over the place. And some of the people, all what they care for you, they just want to hold you in church. Nothing else. They're, just, they're interested with you. They're not interested with solving your problem. They just want to tie you up there. You have to be very careful, some of you right now, some of the places that you, you move from one place to another place. I know you're desperate. But also use your common sense. Did you hear what I say? Some say hallelujah. There's a lot of divination, spirit of divination in churches. Divination is there in churches. And before you realize, they put an, a demonic embargo or completely over your life. How do well, how do, how these uh, demonic embargoes? How are they uh, how powers that put um, uh, demonic embargoes in people's life? Strong men, strong men have strong rooms which are warehouses where they store people's possession that they have stolen. Some of you have a strong man in your life, and at the end of the day, everything that comes in your way, it does not take two seconds before you will receive an attack. If you are here, and every time something good to you happens, and immediately there is an attack, is to let you know that there is a strong man in your life. Some of you right now is what we call wasting powers. This includes, these are destructive cults. Talking about drugs. We're talking about sickness and diseases that affect your immune system, affect where your life is concerned. Particularly what? These are to seek wasteful, colorful destinies. Before you realize you are there, you look beautiful, but you are sick like no one else's business. What else? Environmental forces. These are the powers operating in demonic environment using weapons such as evil altars, we're talking about cobwebs, evil spots, satanic judgments. And you, and you need to understand, some of the churches, they have become so notorious for this. And what do they do? It is very, 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 very important for you to be able to be very careful. It's very important. Some of you, you, you are in this church, but you have a prophet in Nigeria, another one in, another one in Yugoslavia. Uh, if that, did you hear what I just said? You have to be very careful. You have to be very careful. The other day I had to rescue a specific lady. And I had to speak to her. Her life completely grounded. And what the issue about her. So she brought me some photos. And she, she got these pastors praying for her. This lady. I've known that. I've known, she, she, I don't know what. Every time when she gets close to a breakthrough. I've known that lady. She has been coming to this church for over how many years. She comes to church. And when she comes to church. Now she's begun coming to church again. I don't want to mention your name. <laughs> Some say hallelujah. Uh, she's not here tonight. She's not coming to church. And this lady, if you ever know how many times I've rescued her, when she's close to her breakthrough, her, when she's close, I mean everything line up, when she's close to her breakthrough, to her breakthrough, to her breakthrough, when she's about to get there, I don't see her again. Off. I don't see her. Next time, this lady has missed marriages. She has missed opportunities. She has missed so many things. And every time when she gets closer to a breakthrough, suddenly I don't see her again. I mean, when we are close to this, I mean, you can see everything. Everything gets better with her. Whatever it is, boom, gone. I see her one year later. When I see her one year later, she is completely devastated. Pick up the pieces again. Build, 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 build. Then suddenly things get better again. Poo gone. About a few weeks ago, she came to see me. I told her, for 10 years I've known you. This is the last one. So she brought some photos he says uh, this is the pastor that has been praying for you if you see the pastor not one two three four huh? if you see the pastor even the coat that the pastor is wearing the one that has been she has been praying for her ha huh? i said these are the people been praying for you uh, no wonder why you're in such a financial mess. 
if, if they cannot pray for themselves to get out of that poverty, how are they going to help you? Did you hear what I said? She, 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 she said, oh, daddy, please, I'm very sorry, forgive me. I'm a bad one. I said, I know you're a bad one. Did you hear what I said now? Some say hallelujah. That, that's dangerous. Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. You need to be set free. Some say hallelujah. You, you, have, you have to be very careful. You have to be very, 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 very careful. You have to be very careful. You have to be very careful who you're watching over on the internet. You have to be very careful who you're listening to. Because you see, those type of things, I know you need help, but you have to be very careful. A TV, even the light, you cannot plug it to too many. If you get a TV and plug it to too many plugs, it's going to blow off. You need only one plug. Turn to your neighbor say, neighbor, you need only one plug. It is coming this month of May here at the Kingdom Church with Bishop Connor. Something being stirred in the miracle pool. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in and was made whole, whatsoever disease he had, come and join us this May, all month long, and experience the miracles, the testimonies, and the breakthroughs here at the Miracle Pool. In everything by prayer and petition and thanksgiving, present your request to God. Come and walk through the Miracle Pool Bring your prayer requests, bring your bank statements, court and legal documents, bring your point of contact and dip them into the pool for a tangible life of changing results. Only at the Kingdom Church where all things are possible. Do you believe in miracles? The following program contains testimonies of true stories by people who have received divine healing and miracles through the ministry of Bishop Climate. They gave these voluntary without any directions from the Kingdom Church. We advise that you always seek medical practitioner's advice before making any decision based on this program. Thank you.